going on everyone this is Mark Dust and today I'm going to show you how to set up Yuzu so you can play your Switch games on your Steam Deck. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to desktop mode, we're going to hold the power button, and we're going to switch to desktop. Alright now that we're on the desktop we're going to give it a second to load so mouse works, there we go. So we're going to go to the bottom left of the Discover Store which is right here. And we're going to click on Applications, Games, and then we're going to click on Emulators. And then we're going to scroll all to the bottom, and you're going to click on Yuzu. So you'll click on that. You're going to click on Install. Mine says uh, Launch and Remove because I already have it installed. So once it is installed, we'll click Launch. Alright, and once it is launched, I like to right click on in the bottom and you can pin it right here so it pops up as an icon here so you don't have to constantly go to your start menu and open it up if you do have to switch back to desktop to do some configurations. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is we're going to add our gameless folder. So now what you can do is, what I usually do is I have them on my SD card. Now from what I understand, from what I've seen online, if you have formatted your SD card in the Steam Deck on Steam on game mode, I don't think you can use it to have your ROMs on and read it from the desktop mode. I'm not 100% accurate, but mine isn't formatted on the Steam Deck itself. I formatted it on Windows. It's EXFAT. That's what it's formatted as, so I can use it back and forth between Windows and the Deck to load ROMs onto. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click to add a new game folder to the list. And I'm going to scroll down to removal devices, and there is my SD card. So I'm going to go down. We're going to go to Yuzu files where I have it. And we're going to select ROMs and I'm going to hit open. And now if you're like me and like to organize files and have a folder for each ROM, we're going to right click on this right here. We're going to hit scan subfolders and then your game should pop up like this because I have them all organized in folders. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is install firmware and, and your title and prod keys. Now the firmware, I'm not 100% accurate on this, but I know the firmware is needed to play certain games. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Open Yuzu Folder, and see if sometimes you'll have this problem. If it does not open when you click Open Yuzu Folder, then I, I would recommend restarting your Steam Deck, which is what we're going to do right now really quick. Alright, so now that we restarted our deck and I'm back on the desktop mode, we're going to open Yuzu again. All right, now the Yuzu is open. This is another thing I'm gonna mention. If you do restart your deck and you're reading from the SD card, you most likely will have to mount it again. So you're gonna to have to hit mount and open. And we'll close this out really quick. And you're gonna to have to remap the, um, your game directory. I don't know why it does this, but if you do end up your deck crashes or you have to restart, you're gonna to have to remap it on desktop mode before it'll work in game mode again. So we're gonna remap it again. And we're going to scan subfolders again so we have everything back. Okay, now that I restarted, it should open the file. So to do the firmware and the keys, we're going to hit open user folder. See, now that it did open. All right, and to do the firmware, we're going to go to NAND, System, Contents, and Registered. Okay, and this is where we're going to put our firmware. So I'm going to show you the site. I will link everything in the description, but I will show you the site. So let's go to Mozilla on here. And... Open up our keyboard, type in switch firmware. Enter. All right. And then this is the link I use right here, the Dart Sterney. So we're going to click on this. Let's. Get this out of the way. And all right, this is the uh, the Switch firmware page. This is where I get all my Switch firmwares. So you'll click download and you'll download. This is the latest one, 14.1.2. So I'll show you, we'll click download. Click download at the bottom. And 
And it is a rather decently sized file, 320 megabytes, so it might take a little bit to download, depending. All right, now that this is done, we can click save file or open. I guess we can just open, we can hit open. All right, and this is the, this is the files we need. So let's minimize this for now. Minimize this and this. And we can extract this. We can extract this to any folder you want. So I'll extract it to, let's see. Go to desktop, I'll extract it to make a new folder. We'll right click, hit new folder. We'll just leave it as new folder and we'll click this and hit extract. All right, now that it's done, let's open it up. And there is your firmware right there. So what you're gonna wanna do, we'll open this up. And this is how I learned how to do it. We're just gonna click and hold and drag all the way down. All right, and then you're gonna right click on it. We're going to copy and then you will right click in the registered folder and hit paste and then you'll wait till it's done. I have mine in here already, but we'll paste it anyway. And we'll overwrite and apply to all overwrite. Okay. And that's the firmware right there. So what we're going to do is instead of closing this out, just in case it doesn't want to open again, we'll go back to the user folder and we'll have keys. And this is where your prod and title keys will go. And you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to copy them and paste them. And I'll have a link in the description. So you can download them and put them right in here. But it's, it's basically the same exact thing. All right. So now that we have our firmware and our keys out of the way, we can go back to Yuzu. Okay. So once we're in Yuzu, I'm going to show you how to install mods. So we're going to take Pokemon Sword, for example. So each ROM has its own mod directory. So we're going to we'll right click on Pokemon Sword and we'll go to Open Mod Data Location. As you'll see, I have the 60 FPS mod enabled for Pokemon Sword. And I'm going to show you where I get these mods. So we're going to go back to Firefox. And we'll go up here. Let's see. We'll X this out. Oops. All right, we'll open the keyboard. And we can type in Yuzu Mods. And enter. Close our keyboard again, if it can actually close this time. All right, and the first link right here, switch mods. So we'll click on that. And this is the mod page where I get most of the mods for my videos. So we'll go down. And we'll go down to Pokemon Sword so I can show you. Okay, so here's Pokemon Sword right here. So, all right, so say we want to enable the 60 FPS mod. We'll click it. We'll download. We'll open it up. And you'll do the same exact thing. We can hit extract, extract two. And we'll hit desktop, and we can do, let's just do the games folder for now. All right, so we'll close that out. Minimize that. And then you'll go in your games folder, which it's already open here. Let's refresh it. And for some reason, it didn't come here. All right, hold on. Let's try it again. That's weird. It is there. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we're going to try something different. Let's go back. We'll save the file this time. Okay. Minimize this. 
go into back into the folder we'll go to downloads and there it is right there you know what we can do is copy All right, so since this is being such a pain, let's just extract, extract here. There we go. So now we have the folder. This is the 60 FPS folder. Now we can copy this, close this out, and then we can go back to our mod data location for the Pokemon Sword. And then we can paste it in there. As you can see, I already have it in there. So now the 60 FPS mod is in there. Now we can close this out. And now to check to see if your mod is enabled, we can right click on the, the ROM itself, we can go to properties, and we can go to add-ons. Now the check mark means it is enabled. So if you want enable, disable, you would have to check and uncheck that box. Okay, so now that that's there, we're gonna wanna check out our settings. So we're gonna go to, let's go to emulation, go to configure. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is, we'll leave multi-core CPU emulation enabled. That's gonna help you out a lot. Some games, don't want that on, but I haven't come across many games that don't want that on, so we'll leave that on. We'll go to system, let's see. We'll leave that as is. CPU, we'll leave accuracy on auto. Graphics, we're gonna make sure we have Vulkan selected and um, AMD and Van Gogh right here. Now, once in a while, if you're having trouble with Vulkan on a certain ROM, you might wanna switch to OpenGL. Animal Crossing, for example, worked better on OpenGL for some reason for me, so I left it at that. And now, GPU video decoding on default. I usually leave these all checked off. Full screen mode, we're gonna do exclusive full screen. Expect uh, ratio, we're gonna do default. And for res uh, resolution, I switch between 0.75 and one. So if it is a heavier game for the deck to emulate, I will put it on 0.75 to get better frames, but you will have to switch back and forth. If it's a lighter game, you can leave it on one. But usually I leave it on 0 0.75. 0 0.5 looks kinda a little crummy, so I usually set 0.75 would be the lowest you want to go. I have not tried anything higher. You can if it's a light emulation game, but I usually leave it on 0.75 or 1. So leave it on 0.75 for now. For this, I usually do use AMD Fidelity FX. We'll leave it on that. And anti-aliasing method, we'll leave on FXAA. Audio, usually I leave everything on auto. Works fine. Then controls. And now usually... For the most part, I use Pro Controller, and we'll go to Steam Virtual Gamepad, and this is where you can map all your controls. So we'll click on the L right here, and you'll press the left trigger to map it, and it should map to button four like it was. Then we'll do plus, we'll hit the start button, we'll go to button seven, minus, we'll go to button six. So this is where you can map everything. So you'll click and you'll press X for X, A for A, B for B, Y for Y, and you, you can see our sticks are registering right here, and they're moving. And usually I leave it on undocked mode. We can leave that right there. So that is pretty much everything right there. And I know uh, one, I think one game may be required handheld to be selected, so that's another op. I think it was uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu required it because it wasn't detecting the Pro Controller, so I wanted to detect handheld, so you uh, had to switch to that. But usually I leave it on Pro Controller, but some things you might have to switch to the Pro Controller, or you can do dual doi cons, whatever uh, you prefer. So we'll leave it on Pro Controller. All right, and that is pretty much it for the setup on desktop mode. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we'll go to Steam, and since this is a native Linux port of Yuzu, we don't have to use any compatibility. So we'll go down to the bottom left, we'll go to add a game, add a non-Steam game. You'll go to browse. Oh, wait, uh, actually, you don't even need to go to browse. It should be right on the main page right here. Let's see. Hmm, maybe not. Hold on. Okay, so and I figured out now that if it already is added, that it won't pop up in that box. So let's remove it real quick just so I can show you. 
So we'll go to manage, we'll go to remove this non-Steam game from your library. Alright, so we'll go back to add a game. We'll go back to add a non-Steam game. We'll go down. And then user should be right there. So we'll click that, add selected programs, and user will be right there. Now we can switch back to the gaming mode. Alright, so now we are back on the gaming mode. We can go to our library. And we'll go down and find Yuzu. And then we should be able to launch Yuzu right away. Alright, so now we are on the main interface of Yuzu. Now we can, what I like to do is, you can either double tap or you can just right click on it. Then hit start game. I usually that's what I do to get it to work so I don't double tap it a million times. And another thing you're gonna want to do, let's see, let's say you go to configure controls. Alright, so we'll go up top to we'll do general. You'll click general and we'll go to hockeys. And I have so I have, um, let's see, I have full screen and stop emulation set. So F5 is stop emulation set. So if I hit my Steam button right now, I go to controller settings, and now where I have my L4 as F5. So if I'm in a of uh, a ROM, I can just hit the L4 and I'll immediately quit out of the game. And I have my trackpad set as full screen to go in and out of full screen. Because I think once you enable full screen and don't have a hotkey, it might be difficult to get out of it. So you might have to just hit this and go to exit game that way. So right, let's see. Now we can do L5. Let's go back if you want to. Let's see. Now full screen is F11, so if you want, you can go in here, go to controller settings, go to L5, add a command, and then we can go to F11, which will enable and disable full screen mode. So let's go back, we'll hit OK. So we'll start up Pokemon Sword real quick. All right, and you can see we're not in full screen yet, so I can hit my L5, and it will go in full screen. I can press it again, and it'll go back and forth. And then I can press my L4, and it'll end the emulation right there. And that is pretty much it, everyone. I hope uh, this guide was helpful, and I hope you get the Switch games running on your deck.